I had never seen such an unbelievable story. This is the heartbreaking story of the Smith family. A successful Californian businessman suddenly decides to relocate to a remote part of Eastern Europe and settles down there with his wife. That's what Ryan Smith and his wife Laura did. Tired of the busy and noisy life in LA, they set off to make a new life in the Caucasus Mountains in eastern Georgia. They had been trying to have kids for a while with no success. Ryan believed the new place would be good for them. To be truthful, this is an earthly paradise. Valleys, rivers, and mountains fit perfectly into a peaceful and beautiful scene. Ryan Smith knew exactly what he was up to. He had been there before on behalf of his tie manufacturing business, searching out new textiles, and had fallen in love with the place. Ryan was skilled at developing textiles and had a strong desire for adventure. So in 2011, he and Laura moved out of the States and flew thousands of miles east to Mar Newley, a small Georgian town at the bottom of the mountain range. He had already found a business opportunity. The people in town used to weave and make carpets, but as time passed, their ancient industry declined so much that it was nearly non-existent. Determined to turn things around, Ryan and Laura founded Rewoven, a company dedicated to creating carpets using local expertise and local textiles. They used extra strong wool, resistant textiles with guaranteed hard-wearing longevity. At first, the locals weren't too excited, but gradually they warmed to the idea and to the always smiling, friendly American couple. An increasing number of the locals start to join. Rewoven's superior products were marketed on the internet and the company became a considerable force in the Georgian town. The local authorities were impressed by how many locals were benefiting from the new company, so they decided to grant Ryan and Laura Georgian nationality. All this time, the American couple was still trying unsuccessfully to start a family. One miscarriage followed another until at last, Caleb was born. Now they are a small family and hoping to be bigger still. It was American Independence Day 2018, a day that probably wouldn't be celebrated anywhere in the old Russian Federation, but an occasion the Smiths still remembered, and they chose to go on a trip to the waterfall in the Kata Gorge, a beautiful place they hadn't explored yet. And Caleb, now four years old, would also come along. Since they were unfamiliar with the wild terrain and had no experience in the gorge area, Ryan decided to hire a guide, Malkaz Kobari, a 19-year-old Georgian shepherd from a humble family of six children was their chosen guide. The shepherd brought a mobile phone along, which made the smiths wonder, because they knew it wouldn't have any signal where they were headed, and he also had a hunting rifle. Why the gun? Ryan inquired. There are wild animals, we might need to defend ourselves, the shepherd explained. That evening, when the smiths didn't return home, their friends and neighbors grew worried. The police were notified, and the next day, a group of volunteers traced the route the family had taken. They searched for two days before discovering Laura's body at the base of a cliff. The guide, Kabauri, was arrested and interrogated. It was awful, he said. Out of nowhere, two armed men came from behind the rocks. They said they were going to kill the Americans. After they did, they threatened to kill me if I told anyone. He was thrown into a cell and questioned for another three days before he finally broke down. And here's what actually happened. As the Smith family made their way towards the Kata Gorge, they noticed that the guide became increasingly withdrawn, his attention more and more fixed on his mobile phone. And then there's that moment when someone is watching an adult movie and forgets about the sound volume. Ryan quickly noticed that the teenager was acting strangely. And the more absorbed he became, the more careless he seemed to get with his rifle. Finally, Ryan said, shouldn't you be more careful with that rifle? We have a child with us. If something happened, and he turned his back. Kobari's face twisted into a rage. Without a word, he raised the rifle and fired directly into Ryan's back. Ryan stumbled and fell. Laura was shocked as the guide walked calmly to where Ryan was turning in pain and fired another fatal shot, killing Ryan. Caleb, terrified, ran into his mother's arms, shaking her out of her state of shock. Run, Caleb, run, Laura shouted. When investigators examined the murder scene, they found clear evidence that the little boy ran towards some bushes before he too was fatally shot twice in the chest. 
For Laura, now alone in the wilderness with a double murderer, there was even more horror to endure as the young shepherd, fueled by pornographic images, turned his violence towards her. He assaulted her for hours, but there were no gunshot wounds found on Laura. So what really happened to her in the end? The shepherd led police to the murder scene. They discovered little Caleb's body buried under some stones along a footpath. Not far from there, they found the body of Ryan Smith. When the story became public knowledge, the village of Marniuli was gripped by profound shock. Lanterns were hung outside the door of every house as a symbol of mourning. Kabauri was brought before a Georgian court where he admitted to assaulting Laura, replicating everything he had seen on his phone. It was clear he had shot Ryan and Caleb. However, there were no bullet wounds on Laura. When asked, how did the American woman die? He said, I ran out of bullets, but she didn't know that, so I took her to the edge of the cliff. I gave her a choice. Either she jumps or I shoot her. Laura jumped to her death. Her assailant, torturer, and killer was sentenced to life imprisonment. In Marnuli, the weaving machines have ceased their operation. The production of durable, fully guaranteed carpets has come to an end. As if the American family had never been there. Some locals tried to take over the business, but it didn't work. How about you? Do you or someone you know can start rewoven again?